The Automated External Defibrillator, or AED, is a computerized medical device. AEDs are an important link in the chain of survival. They can check a person's heart rhythm and recognize a rhythm that requires a shock. AEDs provide electrical stimulation to the heart so that it can reset and begin beating on its own. AEDs have been designed to be used by bystanders with no previous training. Once turned on, the AED will provide verbal instructions that direct the user through each life-saving step. The AED has a computer chip that can determine if the patient requires defibrillation and how much electrical energy to provide. There is no risk of improper defibrillation to the patient. Further, there is no shock risk to the user as long as the clear verbal instructions provided by the machine are followed. Remember, AEDs help save lives. Studies have shown that if a person requires defibrillation and if you can apply an AED within one minute of collapse, there's a 90% chance of their heart starting again. For every minute that goes by, their chance of survival decreases by 10%. AEDs are being installed throughout Santa Cruz County. To find an AED, look for this symbol. The AED will usually be mounted on the wall in a clearly marked box that is not locked. Become familiar with the location of AEDs in areas you commonly visit, such as health clubs, government buildings, workplaces, or grocery stores. These are just some of the examples of places where you might find an AED. The dispatchers at the 911 Center for Santa Cruz County are familiar with the location of many AEDs and can help direct you to them. When someone collapses in sudden cardiac arrest, your first steps are to call 911. Then, if an AED is available, attach the AED before beginning CPR. The 911 dispatcher may notify you of an AED at your location. Be sure to look around the area. You may see the symbol for a public access AED. If there's an AED available, you should attach it to the patient before starting CPR. You will need to bear the person's chest in order to apply the AED pads. Once you have the person's chest bare, you'll need to remove the AED from its case and follow the printed instructions for turning the power on the device. Then follow the verbal instructions provided by the AED. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if needed. Look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one Following the device's audio instructions and the illustrations provided on the pads, peel them from their plastic liner and place them on the victim's bare chest. After the pads are attached, the machine will tell you to stand clear of the patient and not touch them while it analyzes the heart rhythm. Once it's analyzed the rhythm, it will either say, no shock advised, and begin CPR, or that a shock is advised and ask you to stand clear while the machine charges. Once it is charged, the shock button will begin to blink, and then it will ask you to press the button to deliver the shock. No one should touch the patient. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button now. D shock delivered. Be sure emergency medical services have been called. It is safe to touch the patient. After the shock is delivered, the machine will prompt you to perform CPR for two minutes, and then it will reanalyze. As with CPR, you should be aware the Good Samaritan laws California has in place to protect bystanders from liability were expanded in 1999 to include bystander AED use in addition to performing CPR.